simple piece of fabric and add a unique twist to it and the product will be flying off the shelf. At Shukaduka, Emma and George Forbes took the characteristic Kenyan fabric associated with the Maasai people, known as a shuka, and designed a wide range of high-quality, practical goods with a real, traditional spirit. Bina and Nelson each cut the fabric to the right size. For the picnic blanket, the shuka is cut together with a special waterproof backing which makes it more practical for use outdoors, even on wet ground. The campi motto receives a fleece backing, making it warmer than a simple Maasai fabric shuka. They are careful to match the fabrics perfectly and use pins to hold them in place before sewing. Nelson folds the edge of the shuka and the waterproof material, creating a hem, preparing it for sewing. This blanket can expect some rough treatment out on a campsite or in the field, and so he uses a strong thread to sew the pieces together. This gives the picnic blanket a neat edge with a quality finish. With the campi motto, the process is slightly different as there is no neat fold at this stage. However, it is vital to sew the fleece and fabric together in a perfect straight line. This is done so that the fabric can be turned inside out, creating a more skin-friendly hem. Small details like this are what give the products their quality feel. In order to identify the Shuka Duka products, each item receives the company logo. For the picnic blanket, these are made of embossed leather. Over at Rift Valley Leather, workmen prepare the branded leather by cutting pieces of the right size, using a template and a sharp razor to achieve the rustic look. The tanned pieces of leather are then embossed. A block with a negative design of the logo is loaded into a heated press. The leather piece is then placed in the holding mount. Once the press is at the right temperature, the block is forced down on the leather piece, leaving a dark impression that is easy to read and recognize. The branded leather piece is sewn into the corner of the picnic blanket. With the campi motto, the shuka is intended to come into direct contact with human skin. And so, the branding must be softer so as not to cause irritation. Here, they use embroidered branding to achieve that effect. The blankets are now folded. They are held together using a handy lockable strap. A final tag with the Shuka Duka brand is now added. Before we left, we had to test whether it is actually waterproof. It is. If you want a simple solution to keep dry while enjoying the beautiful outdoors or a traditional covering to keep you warm at night, then the Maasai picnic blanket and the Kambi motto are the way to go. Shuka Duka, made in Kenya. Oh,